What's up, music fans of the internet? My name is Kevin. I'm Derek. And together we are last week's album, and we will kick things off like we always do, drinking a beer. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Kevin. Cheers, everyone at home. This week, <clears throat> we are talking about an album called Records by a band called The Shackletons. They are a six-piece post-punk band based in Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. And uh, since their 2008 self-titled debut, they have been on a six-year hiatus, um, predominantly because the lead singer's mother came down with cancer and then passed away, um, which has a lot to do with this album. So uh, let's get into Sounds Like. Derek, what do you think it sounds like? Kevin, I think record sounds like a day at the beach when a huge hurricane hits and no one is around to see it except for this attention-starved live TV anchor and a surprisingly begrudgingly compliant cameraman. <laughs> if a hurricane happens and no one's there to see it, does it happen, Derek? Yes. <laughs> Only if it's on live TV. Uh, I think this sounds like Cage the Elephant, The Doors, Les Savi Fav, and Pixies all having one big collective nervous breakdown. And I mean that in the best way possible. Uh, all right, key tracks. What do you got, Derek? Kevin, my key tracks are Kindest Words and Mum. Okay. Uh, I've got Call Call and The End. So uh, I will kick things off. I think Call Call comes before the rest of those. Um, I really dug this song because of its back and forth staccato surf guitars, this very nice wordless chorus of just saxophone and guitar in unison, and uh, howling, howling verses, thumping bass, and pounding drums has this really raucous opening that gives way to a quick sort of chill out bridge that then builds back up into this second uh, raucous affair, and then drops out again uh, with just guitars, voice, and light drums, and then slowly sort of crawls its way to a close. Um, there's a lot going on here, but it's all very well done. They're stretching the song in all different directions, but making it work very well together. So that's why I dug Call Call. Derek, tell us about your first key track. Kevin, Kindest Words, uh, my first key track, actually kind of has a lot of the same elements as far as uh, building, ebbing, flowing, um, rising, crashing, much like the movement of an ocean, if you will, um, just to, you know, continue some of our imagery. Um, the verse, it starts off with just this ambient whirring sound, which uh, gives way to a sauntering, pixies-ish guitar riff, uh, bass, snare, drum beat, uh, just these affected vocals that sound like someone you know, singing through one of those, you know, mic big megaphones or whatever. Uh, chorus, this... The, the whirring turns into just a screeching guitar. Um, group vocals are subtle, but they kind of play this, uh, have this percussive role, if you will. Um, and just sounds very different from kind of this uh, almost cool, reserved uh, sound they have in the verse. At the 240 mark, the whirring takes off again. Um, you know, and then it kind of goes into this ebb before the sauntering Pixies-ish guitar riff kind of picks it up again. Um, the lyrics, um, very straightforward, uh, just talks about kind of using kind words to coax uh, love out of where it may be hiding. Um, just overall, I thought a lot of really interesting things going on here as well. Just a lot of cool riffs really grabbed my uh, attention. Yeah, the, um, the female vocals sort of cueing in the background on this one reminded me of Sleigh Bells a little bit. I can't remember which track, but I think you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, yeah, not specifically, but I know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, yeah, so my next key track is called The End, although it is not the last one on the album, as you might think. Um, it opens with these sunny, jittery guitars and very staccato jolts. Um, as I mentioned, jittery guitars and this woozy saxophone comes in later. There's this chaotic bridge with these bird and siren sound effects. The sax goes a bit jazzy. We get into some military march uh, drum breaks. And um, overall, it just sounds surprisingly bright, given the very dark subject matter, um, as we alluded to in the opening here. And um, overall, it does get darker with time as the song goes through, and just very um, very well constructed and mirrors the narrative with the sounds uh, very nicely. So, Derek, what was your next one? 
Kevin, I really like that one too. I think you're exactly right. There, there was kind of a bright undertone uh, to it, despite kind of the dark nature. So, if it, you know, continuing the hurricane theme, that one would be the eye of the storm. And my next key track, "Mum," is just the worst brunt of the storm, just hammering down. Um, it it features these bouncing at what what I thought sounded to be dissonant at times, uh, dueling guitar riffs, a boogieing bass line. Uh, bass and air drums, which is very heavy cymbals going on. Um, and then at the 140 mark, it shifts into uh, bass, uh, guitar-led, dark, bluesy funk sound, I thought. Um, and then at the three-minute mark, it changes up again. Um, there's a really cool uh, guitar riff kind of hit, hidden behind um, this buzzsaw guitar riff, um, and also hidden behind what I thought sounded like a Dick Dale on acid lead guitar riff. Um, go Wikipedia that. Um, and overall, you know, the song talks about losing someone very close to you, um, and just musically, uh, I thought tried to capture a lot of emotions, um, and I thought did that effectively. Later on tonight, Derek, I'm going to Wikipedia Dick Dale on acid and see what <laughs> Just Dick Dale, you can just, just that part. I know, I know, just messing with you. Um, all right, best lyrics, what do you got? I'm trying to say the kindest words, try and show simple love from kindest words. Straightforward, um, just really captured the emotion there. Um, there's a simplicity. I thought there, there you know, there's a, a fatality, you know, a strong sense of, you know, one's fatality in, in all these songs, obviously. And, you know, he really captures some of the, the, brighter uh, side, you know, focusing on the here and now, and I just thought this one really kind of captured that. Yeah. Um, for my best lyric, I'm pulling one from The Ache, and it goes, is there anything in your life you want to shake off? And as you mentioned um, there in your best lyric and earlier, the lyrics here are not too complex overall throughout the album, but they're so emotionally packed in his vocal delivery that they don't have to be clever or quick or witty it's enough that they're simple and just really emotive. And that was one of my favorite parts of the uh, lyrics on the album. So overall ratings, Derek, what are you giving records? Kevin, I'm going to give this one a three out of five. I thought there, there's just a ton of good things going on here. Emotionally, it's, it's so strong. Um, it can almost be overwhelming at times, I thought. But at the same time, I, you know, that's much to their credit for being... You know, being able to capture such such strong emotions um, musically, I thought they had a lot of really different sounds and kind of homages to different genres and stuff. You know, not just the kind of surf rock that we've kind of alluded to a lot, but there's a lot more there. Um, you know, I'm kind of glad these guys uh, called an end to their highest and uh, built this just epic of an album, almost you could say. Um, looking forward to kind of see where they go from here. Yeah, um, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5, Derek. Um, as you mentioned, it is overwhelming, but it is in a good way. It's a very emotionally taxing thing to listen to. You kind of have to be in the right mood and the right mindset. This isn't one you can just throw on at a whim. Um, but to your point, to its credit, it's great in that way. They're a very dynamic band. They can take these songs in all sorts of different directions um, within one song, and it still all works together really, really smoothly. The music and vocals work really well together, either complementing or contrasting each other. And um, at any moment, it feels like a song or the band could just come unhinged and go off the rails. But they hold it together just enough to capture that sort of chaos. Um, and I really dug that. That's a really, really nice style. It's very hard to do well. So, strong work, Shackleford's. Um, Shackleton's. <laughs> you do that at the end, right? <laughs> yes, yes. If you've made it this long, you get to see my uh, mess up. But there you go, guys. Another album review from last week's album, Records by the Shackletons, not the Shacklefords. Uh, Derek's giving it a three. I'm giving it a four. That means you should probably check it out. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel here on YouTube. And uh, we'll be back next week with another album review. Until then, cheers, guys. Cheers.